back again with another life and work as a graphic designer in LA. It's my first autumn here, and I'm realizing that sunny LA weather is truly year-round. And while I love being cozy and staying in, I've been continuing my exploration of the city. Starting with the really cool pop-ups and well-branded storefronts that are literally everywhere. With the days getting darker and shorter, I've made it a personal mission to go outside while the sun is still out. And in doing so, I've found many very cute places. Who knows? Maybe I'll get to design one of these spaces myself one day. That would be a dream. Then I could finally put my environmental design major to use. So here's hoping. I got really stressed out the other day. I had a lot of just newfound anxiety. And I think when I'm really stressed out, I just kind of revert to very childlike drawing. I don't know why that's my go-to when I'm really stressed, but I guess my inner child just like came out a little bit. <laughs> it's basically just small guys, big worries. And I think I'm just gonna make a little series. I already started on the second one. I kind of am drawing it a little bit more, but I like the idea of just like nice little affirmations. Yeah, I'm just testing out different colorways, but I'm having a lot of fun actually. I really enjoy it. I'm getting ready to go to a little dinner date. Fun fact, it is my anniversary, so we're going to a little restaurant. I bought the Skims dress because everyone says that it fits really well for everyone. It's really stretchy and comfortable. And I must say, it is very stretchy and comfortable. Am I right? Damn, this is like not a graphic design channel anymore. I'm just putting whatever I want up here. Exciting package today. Look at how beautiful they are. Not to my own horn or anything, but I'm excited to open it up and do a little unboxing with you guys. They are the newest flavors. They're low sodium of Lentiful, which is a lentil brand that I designed. We have eight flavors in total now. We were only limited to one color. Kind of hard to tell here, but I changed up the transparency of like some of the items with a brush and Photoshop. <laughs> it does not show up. It's supposed to be a little bit more textured, but I like how they turned out. I think the color is actually really, really nice in person. These are actually not Pantone colors. These are, this is just CMYK printing. And I think the colors turned out pretty vibrant. Like look at this red onion. They taste really good, so I highly actually recommend trying this, especially if you're vegan. It's like a nice orange color with a red cap, and I think it turned out pretty well. Again, I feel like the colors are pretty vibrant, so I'm pretty happy about it. With Ben, who's the founder of Lentiful, he just takes my designs and prints them. There's no sample, he just kind of sends it to print, and I'm like, okay, so this is the first time I'm seeing these. I just have to send in the artwork and just like pray that it turns out well. It turned out well! I think we should add them to the shelf. This is my branding shelf. It's Friday. I got back from Pilates a few hours ago. It was crazy. Jesse Tyler Ferguson from Modern Family was there. And then right as I was about to leave, in walks Kristen Bell for her next class, which is insane. Yeah, I went home, took a shower, and I've just been working for the last few hours. I replied to a bunch of emails from my website for like project inquiries. And now I am working on some hyper stuff. So I'm, making a bunch of social graphics for them. 
This is what one of them looks like right now. I have to re-record my voiceover for an Adobe Reel. I'm having a very LA day. Like imagine coming home from Reformer Pilates after seeing a bunch of celebrities and then sitting down to work on your YouTube video. I'm disgusting. I just, I don't know. I, I feel really grateful right now to just be, I'm, I'm always saying I'm grateful. Like I was making those website edits and doing things and I was like, oh, this is so tedious and boring, but it's still, it's still something that I created and I guess I have to remind myself of that sometimes. I feel like designers can often just take themselves really seriously and take their jobs for granted, but we, we have a fun job. It's Saturday, very cloudy today. I think it's raining a little bit. So what better day to go to the museum? kind of wish I had someone to go with me, but I'm going to try to be better at spending time alone. Also, I feel like when you're going to a museum with a friend, there's a lot of pressure because it's like, do they want to speed up? Do they want to slow down? So like looking at paintings that I like and like art that I like at my own pace sounds kind of nice. Gonna try out this milk for kids that my friend got me. It's vanilla flavored. First impressions. I don't think you'd like this. It has a really weird aftertaste. I can't describe it. I don't know about, I don't know if I would purchase this. If I had to rate this, I would say like six out of 10. I asked all of my friends if they were busy tonight and all of them were, so it's just me. But yeah, I don't really know where I'm gonna go or what I'm gonna do but maybe I'll just walk around, take myself out on a little date. out some very cute stores so I'm gonna show you my haul. I went to this store called Wine and Eggs and I picked up this. It's the Arabora and Graza collab. So it's an olive oil martini. Hold on, excuse me. But it looks so cute. I love it. It's a sparkling cocktail, non-alcoholic. I picked up this green tea drink and then I got takeout from home state. So I got tacos for dinner. Hello everyone. I'm editing my YouTube video and I ordered some portos. I already ate it all. But I thought I would review. Ooh, here we go. Cheers. like this. I'm gonna give it a solid 8 out of 10. I kind of wish it had a little bit more of like flavor in it. I can't really taste the olive oil, but it's got, it's got a kick to it. Whose cat is this? <laughs> 